quick vid. This is Team Sky going through traffic, just quite useful to watch. So you can see Tories ahead of me, Duran Riders ahead of me, and we'll see Francis Cade is with me, and some other breeding crew. So that was a good ride. Uh, we just went on Norton's and did Lofty. Uh, afterwards, Sky turned back to get some rain jackets, and we just left them because couldn't really be bothered to wait. Because uh, it was, wasn't great weather in Adelaide today, I'm not going to lie. But um, I, apparently this is very red, Ollie was saying. Um, but you can see, like, Team Sky are going decently hard down here. Like, not crazy, but decent decent pace nonetheless uh like as in you you have to be decently fit to catch up but once you're on the back it's pretty chill uh, i couldn't really well do power or speed data for this one because to be honest you all know the story they go pretty chill uh, they're not doing any hard efforts so there's no point if they do hard efforts then yeah obviously i'll include it because it's it's useful but at the moment like i'm doing 150 watts on the back probably they're doing like 200 on the front and that's like zone one for them so that's pretty good pretty chill for them uh they've got their Opening race tomorrow for a lot of them, uh, which will be the People's Choice Classic. It's basically like a nine. It's like a forty-five k crit, I think, in the centre of Adelaide. Um, it, most of them just chill out basically until the last about five k, and that's full gas from there. Um, but yeah, so you can see, come to the traffic light, they stay pretty much pretty upright. Um, they go to, always to the front. They sort of skip around any riders. Uh, I've noticed one thing is that they don't really um, they don't really do much track standing actually, which I thought they would. But I think it's more they just don't want to like fall over and crash into someone else. While well, I'm always track standing at the traffic lights, but maybe that's because I'm used to the traffic lights ride with them the whole time, so I'm I'm always looking for those marginal gains. Um, so you can see that Team Sky are like they're pretty pretty chilled out on their rest day rides. So this is just like an easy recovery spin just before the race. I think they all up did about seventy two kilometers or something. Um, but you can see, like, just the way they go through traffic is very efficient. Like, you'll see, you, they sort of drop you around some of the corners just because they, they know how to, they know how to ride. Like, when they go around a corner, they'll keep pedaling or whatever. Um, so we're just following the team car at the moment. You can see they're sort of, like, all symmetrical. They all follow each other perfectly. Um, me and Frods is having a little chat at the back. Uh, it's nice, nice catching up with a lad. Um, another guy from London out here. Um, he's up here for two weeks, I think, uh, working with Zwift, which is pretty cool. Uh, so we should do some more rides together, which will be nice. Uh, and there are a couple other guys on the batch, back parish, and uh, well, I can't remember his name. This guy from Portugal who cycled from Melbourne to Adelaide, which is pretty insane. I think it's Ricardo, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but they were they were nice guys as well. So um, we're all out for Team Sky Ride, which is pretty good. Uh, Team Vegan. There's Parish on the right. Um, so you can see, like, Team Sky are... Riding two abreast, they pretty much have the control of the road here because the team cars ahead. They seem to have two team cars out today, which is very strange. Um, most team cars, most teams don't even have one team car, which is their livery on it, like their branding. Um, team Sky have two, and like some other vehicles. It's insane how much coin they have. But I guess, I guess to be fair, it's like probably a worthwhile investment because then the spon they get more exposure for their sponsorships or whatever um, compared to just a white car with some like branding on it from Cannondale or whatever company it is that sponsor them. So you can see, it's just just good, good good tempo, like nice, I was doing a recovery ride because I got race tomorrow as well, so it was good, good riding with the guys. Um, you can see that like at the traffic lights, this will be sped up, but again, they're, they're pretty comfortable, they lean on the cars if they can, like they're just, just comfortable riders. So off we go. Uh, Sky guys, the Sky, team Sky car just waited for me at the back, which is quite nice. Um, just give me a bit of protection because ultimately they don't want to want anyone to crash into the riders or anything. They're pretty good. The pro riders they point out all the like the debris on the road or whatever, which is really kind and um, they just generally look out for look out for each other, which is good. Uh, so we're just cruising up here. We go and eventually go on to Norton Summit. I thought we might do Green Hill again, but um, I think they want to do a bit of stage four recon, so they went up Norton Summit and then. They were going towards Loftage and then to do the Trigarth and Rollers and then head over to Rydler. But, um, we yeah, we left them and went up Lofty because it was it started raining. Like, now it's fine, but I knew it was going to start raining. So I wanted to make sure that, well, I think all of us want to make sure that we didn't get too wet. So we sort of hit up Lofty um, for a bit and waited until the rain passed, which was nice. Had a bit of a hit out up there, which was good. Um, feeling quite soft, quite feeling decent for tomorrow. I've done, had quite a big week. I've done like 21 hours or something, which for me is... A big week um, compared to usual. The usual is like ten to fifteen, so big, big step up. But um, no, it's good. Um, really excited for the race tomorrow, and 
also super excited for Tour Down Under. Um, it'll be really good watching all the teams. I think there'll be one more day where I'll ride with teams, which will be Monday. So that'll be last chance for Loon to ride with any teams. I think some will stay out of Tour Down Under, but a lot will leave. So if you do have any team you want me to ride with that I haven't ridden so with so far, let me know, and I will try my best to ride with them. Um, I'm thinking I might try and do BMC because that'd be quite good, but I might also do a random one like UAE or Bahrain or someone a bit rogue. Um, but if you want me to ride with any team, just let me know and we can ride with them. If you want me to talk, ask any riders any questions, uh, I can do that as well. Um, just any, anything you want, I, I'm I'm happy to do as long as it's not like race again, burn out up a climb or something or or something where I'll just fail or like. I don't know, I don't know, just like crash into them or something dumb like that, but as long as it's a reasonable request, I'll, I'll try and do it, um, and as long as they're not going too far or hard, but I don't think they should be, because on Monday they'll have a, ra a race on Sunday, and then uh, Monday off, and then the race starts on Tuesday, so it should be good, because uh, they'll just be doing easy recovery spin, which will be nice, and then I think on Tuesday, Tuesday I'll, I'll start getting some intervals in, and See see what all the rides are. I think there's quite a lot of rides around in Tour Down Under, so I should be smashing some guys up climbs, um, which would be good fun. Harley was saying that a lot of a lot of people come down and like when you're riding to like the race or whatever, it basically ends up being a smash fest for like 100k, which would be really good fun. I think going to Wollongong will be will be nice as well. Um, haven't ridden out there yet, so that would be good fun. Um, it's a good long long stage actually, long way. Like it's about 130k round trip, which is always nice. Uh, I don't think I'll be getting to Victor Harbour because that's like a 200k round trip. I'm not sure what people are doing. There's like some itinerary for like vegans tour in Tour Down Under. There's like a Facebook group. Um, I might link it below if I can remember, but otherwise just Google it um, or Facebook it. Like do the Facebook search. Um, so they've got like an itinerary, which is pretty good. Daniel Bovolino, who's like organic athlete man, he created it, which is good of him. Um, so we've got some good rides coming up, which will be nice. Just seeing more crew or whatever. It's always good. Um, I feel like I know quite a lot of people now, which is nice, because uh, we've ridden with loads of different people. Um, it'll be also good to see, just seeing the riders in the race, so you can see everyone's doing a bit of track standing. Um, I think they're still doing some track standing, but then eventually I'm like, nah, I can't even be bothered. Uh, so you can see Owen Dool ahead of us, it's pretty chilled out, like, they were, they were good. Um, everyone's got pretty nice bikes, Holly's on his bamboo bike, the other guy's on a Trek and Monda, and uh, Tori's on a Niche. And Francis was on some weird UK brand, which is sort of like a carbon frame, but unbranded. And he's got some nice wheels which have like changeable hubs, so he can run like a, a through axle, or he can change the width of the hub, hub at the back in case he's using a disc brake bike, which is pretty sane. I think he was running DI2, I think everyone else was running uh, 105 or something, and I think Harley was running a SRAM Rival 22. Skyrun, F10s, mix between Duro Ace and... Um, uh, and stages power meters, which is odd. Um, not sure why they're doing that, to be honest. Very strange. I don't quite understand that, but maybe some riders will use stages, some will use Shimano. I, I, I have no idea. How can you compare? Because normally you use one power meter for the team and it's easier to compare with each other, but I don't even know. Um, maybe maybe they'll have stages and and, and the Shimano one. I, I literally have no idea how they're going to do it, but it'll be interesting nonetheless to see what goes on. Uh, most of them running Shimano um, pedals, some are running speed plays, and yeah, so cheers for watching. That'll be, I'll just play the rest of this with some music over it, and um, I'll see you in the next vid. <laughs> Stone in the season, storm is done.